Hello guys, today's video uh, we're gonna do a testing. Um, gonna try to using this Toxic Pro 1000, the Angle Play Maker um, plus this MF70, the Poxong Micro Media Machine to making a Angle Play. Okay, because you know uh, if you're using a hand and a doing like this um i'm thinking it's kind of hard and it's really you know it's taking a long time and it's not really accurate so for more position job uh, probably using the micro mini machine plus this one um you should have better result so uh again the angle play it is the um little pieces right here so you can see the little pieces okay so it's giving you the angle which is bring the front roller stay angle okay so without that this roller stay is 100 uh, is 180 degree so with angle play which uh, they have different size the number four is five degree the number three is seven degree number two is nine degree number 11 it is i believe it is 11 degree so with angle angle play maker which is right here you can making different uh, type of angle and you can like this one right here this is actually five degree right here okay so this is also because i put an angle play right here so bring the front row a little bit giving a little bit angle down to the other side okay so again, I've been seeing people using this one and it's just like it keep grinding, grinding, grinding. But again, it's really take a long time. My personal like to do a research on tools and all the different type of like material. Because actually I figured out this one a long time ago using this one, the Michael Milli Machine plus this angle play to giving a more better job and a more easier job. Okay, so this is what I do. Um, I using double side tape which is right here okay and it's very nicely placed that on the top of the angle play maker okay and then I using a knife to remove the extra pieces Okay, and the next, this is Tamiya gauge, mm -hmm. and here we place the double side tape on the number four, which is five degree. So you're gonna set up the gauge right here. Okay, so this is gonna give you a better uh, level angle, and when you place the popsicle on top of that, so it's it's it lines up the whole thing against the uh, angle maker. Okay. The next, so this side we're gonna trim off. So what are we gonna do? I'm going to set the popsicle on top of the angle maker. So make sure you're using this one against the right here. So and then you can push this one all the way to here, so it can lines up. Okay. So otherwise, uh, by hand it's really hard to lines up. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit crooked. So that's why you have to put something right here to block this side, and you can push this one against to the the gauge right here. So in this case, the popsicle right here can lines up the line right here. Okay. So this is what I do right here. Okay. So after that, double check, make sure everything lines up. Let me give you a better angle. Okay. See everything lines up. Okay and check everything make sure it's really tight okay okay next we're gonna set up this on the machine okay I'm gonna using a three millimeter uh, the color and a plus this machine vice okay so right now this thing actually let me give it a better angle you can see you can see here a little bit down right here and here a little bit top right here so when you set up the machine you're gonna starting trim off from the lower support which is right here okay 
So when it's set up right here, we're gonna start to trim off from here in a layer by layer, okay? Like this. So we're gonna start in right here, the lower support. Okay, here's gonna give you some tip before you're cutting it. And make sure when you're cutting from the lowest point, you're only gonna cut a little bit. So when you set up the height of the machine, make sure when you set up is uh, only cut a little bit on the surface, okay, on the on the lowest point. Because if you cut out too deep, when you go all the way to the top point, you're gonna be losing a lot, okay. So I mean, it is really hard to explain to you, but uh, you know, um, you can't try to cut a couple pieces and you will you will understand what I'm talking about but this is just depends uh, if you have this machine right here okay so I think this machine is really useful and um, I try to figure out many ways to um, modify uh, my mini four-wheel drive so here's what I do I turn the machine on Okay, so you can see I just finished right here. As you can see, this one has a very even angle right here. Okay, the surface really smooth, and it's the most important thing it is, it's very accurate. Okay, so let's take that off and check on the car if it gives us like a right angle. So number four again, this is a five degree, okay? So we're gonna try to put on a car, see if it give us five degree, okay? Okay, so right here you can see it is perfect five degree right there, okay? So okay, here's the angle play just cut. So you can see it's really nice and even. Okay. Okay. 